Welcome to Thursday's edition of CNN Student News. It's good to see you. I'm Carl Azus at the CNN Center. Time for the shout out. Which U.S. president signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 into law? Was it John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, or Gerald Ford? You've got three seconds. Go. President Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 into law using at least 75 different pens that he handed out to civil rights leaders and supporters. That's your answer, and that's your shout out. It's the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. Its goal to end discrimination based on someone's race, religion, what country they came from, or what gender they were. And that extended from businesses and schools to voting booths and even bathrooms. The act was passed after one of the longest debates in Senate history. In the 1960s, it was as controversial as it was historic. The nation was in turmoil. The downtown plaza. Young, predominantly black protesters against public discrimination on buses, in bathrooms, and at lunch counters were beaten and hosed down in the South. America's very democracy was at stake. And then, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Lyndon Baines Johnson was sworn in and decided to stake his early presidency on passing the Civil Rights Act. No memorial oration or eulogy could more eloquently honor President Kennedy's memory. But the politics were as nasty on Capitol Hill as the prejudices on the streets of the South. Southern Democrats who felt their way of life was being threatened threw up hurdle after hurdle in the House. Across the Capitol, senators like Robert Byrd and Strom Thurmond filibustered, trying to talk the bill to death. Richard Goodwin worked in the White House for Kennedy and then for President Johnson. He was from the South, and he had seen firsthand, of course, the, the poor blacks and the poor Mexican-Americans and others who were not getting a fair break in the society. Urging swift passage for the bill. LBJ not only supported the bill, he also knew how to get it passed on Capitol Hill. Johnson had mass, he was the master of the Senate. And as majority leader, he knew where all the bodies were buried. He knew what all everybody's weaknesses were. So the new president worked the phones, calling all sides. He would be on the phone with Dr. King. Then he would call Governor Wallace. Then he'd call Senator Dirksen. And then he'd be on the phone with Richard Russell. Uh, and um, he was pulling out every stop. He'd call them in the morning. He'd call them at night. I mean, there's a story of calling a senator at 2 in the morning, and he said, I hope I didn't wake you up. <laughs> and the senator said, no, I was just lying here on the bed hoping my president would call. Johnson's arm twisting worked. The bill fought its way through Congress. The filibuster was broken by Republicans and Democrats. As warm applause from members With his signature, LBJ made the Civil Rights Act of 1964 the law of the land following a groundswell of public support after violence and hate had tested the nation.